Hey everyone, so for today's video, I wanted to show you all how I set up my light up keyboard. And here's the trick it is not actually a light up keyboard. So let's take a look. Welcome back everybody. If you don't know me, my name is Sebastian and I run Sebastian Gomez Music. If you're interested in lessons, check out the links below to contact me. Now I learned this trick from my friend Austin over at Mr. Austin Music, so go check out his channel. I'll have that link below. But he saw my original video where I had my piano and then the Chordy app visualizing the chords and the notes. And he told me, hey, I've got a really similar way to set it up. I was very curious and when he showed me, I was blown away. But I found that just tweaking a few things in OBS really made it clear enough for my students to see and most of them can't even tell that it's not an actual light up keyboard. What you'll need to pull this off are three things. OBS, which you can download from the links below. Mediculous, which is a free visualizer. You can also download them below. And you'll need a MIDI or digital keyboard. Most keyboards you can plug in just with a USB cable directly into your laptop or your computer, whatever you use. Once you have all that downloaded and set up, the first thing to do is to go to Mediculous. And I found that some of the best setups for the keyboard to light up nice is to make sure the instrument is the real keys and that the color is like a bright red. I really like that. And it's also my studio color, so there you go. Then let's go over to OBS. And I've set up a new window for us to work through. The first thing that we want to do is add our top camera. So I'm going to click the plus on the bottom left of the sources section, go to video capture device. And for me, I've already added it, but you can go through and create a new one. I'm just gonna select my top Brio. You can see how my keyboard is fairly flat. You, you can't really see any weird angles. It's almost exactly like Mediculous. Whenever you set up your camera, make sure that it is level and as directly in the center of the keyboard as possible so that whenever you overlay Ridiculous in OBS. It comes off as flush as it can be. So I'm going to crop this a little bit. If you don't know crop, I'm going to press right here, option, and just drag from one of the nodes. And I'm going to drag from the other node. I'm going to drag it down to the corner and stretch it out. Then the next thing that I want to do is add a window capture. So I'm going to go again to the sources press the plus on the bottom left. And this bottom menu, we can go to window capture. I've already added it, but I'll just add it a new for us. I'm going to call this ridiculous. And you get this window from this pull down, you get all the possible sources that you have um, as selectable windows. So you want to find ridiculous four. It's right here for me. And there it is. Now we have ridiculous in here. I'm going to resize it to the same size as my window and I'm going to crop. And again, to do that, I just press option and I click one of the nodes and drag it up. So Mediculous is trimmed all the way down. It probably doesn't need to be all the way to the edge. So I'm going to slim it down a little bit and there we have it. It should be around the same size as my piano. Now the most fun part is changing the opacity and some of the lighting controls. So let's take a look at those. I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna make sure that I have Mediculous selected. I can either right click here and go to filters, or you can press filters up here from the top menu. Under effect filters, I'm gonna press the bottom left where the plus is, and go down to color correction. I can leave it as that, press okay. And here, the first thing that I change is the opacity. Already you can see that my hands actually show up. They look a little ghosty, but that's fine as well. The first things that I do is I turn down the gamma and the brightness. You can see now my hands show up perfectly, but you don't see the color. So that's where contrast comes in. I can turn up the contrast until a little bit of the red starts to appear. And I can turn up the saturation as much as I want. Usually I turn it up 100%. And I get all the color possible. And that's about all I do. I can play with the opacity a little bit in case it's too bright, but I usually leave it around 40 or 50%. And there you have a clear and really, really great 
keyboard visualizer. For me, it's really important to have middle C perfectly aligned because I also zoom in. I have views where I've zoomed in to show a little bit more detail. And if I have those aligned in my bigger scenes, then I know that they'll be aligned in my smaller scenes. But again, that kind of sets us up to not have some of the extremities as lined up, but that's where the shift and stretch function comes into play. One thing that I can do is I can press shift and now I can stretch or shrink whatever window I'm working in. I try to get it as close as possible so that the majority of notes are aligned well and most of the black keys aren't covered. You do see a little bit of shadow. It's not a perfect strip and that is because Mediculous has a shadow. I found that adjusting the gamma up until that shadow disappears really helps. Again, that might make my fingers a little bit more ghosty, but I can play around with the opacity to get it to the point where I find it really smooth. There you have it overall. That's a great way to light up your keys for your students. And again, you want to test out the black keys, so maybe just a big swoosh, swoosh. <laughs> Most of them are 100%. Maybe some of these lower ones are a little bit misaligned. And that's just the trouble of the fact that Mediculous is software and it's perfectly aligned and, and stretched across the entire software. And your camera is, well, you've got perspective to deal with. So top down, you will always see a little bit of a stretch across the keyboard. But I mean, hey, let's take a look overall. This is a good and great way to light up your keys for your online student. Thank you again, everybody, for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments what you're interested in seeing, what I can cover and help you out with. Again, if you're interested in lessons or want to chat at any point, check out the links in the description where you can contact me. I hope this helped, and I'll see you all in class.